Hi everyone, this is Aisa. I'm coming to share with you some projects I created. I've been working on my Mother's Day cards, so I thought I'd share them. Um, this card, I used the Spring Flings box set. Um, the cardstock is very thin, um, but sometimes that's good because depending on how many embellishments I put, it increases my postage. So now I'm trying to be smart and not <laughs> you know, have to spend more money. So I use um, Happy Mother's Day stamp. Um, I have the Stamping Up Dorley die. Cut that out. This is a Prima Flowers, a Sizzix Flower um, leaf die, excuse me. And just some ribbon. And then this I start Best Wishes, and that's a Spellbinders die. So simple. This one I use Prima Paper. I can't remember. Most of it is either Prima Paper or Webster's Paper. Um, used the Tim Holtz mini dress die. I, I, you know, popped it up. Some ribbon, and then inside I use another spellbinders and put best wishes. This one is that spring fling again. Some antique um, seam binding lace, and then I stamped. I used again a spellbinders die, and then I I weaved a small tiny pearl set around it. And again, the card is very thin, so even if I use a lot of embellishment, it helps out with the weight. Oh, and I have to put something inside that one. And in this one, I use Prima Paper. I, this is, I think, the other side of this one, if I'm not mistaken. This is trim I got from Scrapbook Rosette Trim. I have I got this trim back when I first started scrapping at um, Hobby Lobby. I stamp Happy Mother's Day. And this is also part of the Prima Paper that comes with tags. I cut it out and use that. Again, I love that Sizzix. Um, it's like a Sizzix side that does the leaves. I love that. And then I put a sentiment in the middle with a spell by design. And I actually made two, which is rare for me, but I made two the same. Um, I have a lot to do this couple of next weekend, so I'm trying to do quick cards. So here's another one, and here's, I use Webster's Papers. Um, I actually stamped this. I think it's with um, my mind's eye stamp because I felt like it needed something more on it. Um, again, this is the scrapbook trim I received, I bought. Some ribbon, stamp the Happy Mother's Day stamp. And again, I use the spell binders and best wishes. And this one is something similar. This is a little the same, a little different. I use the three again, the ribbon, a spell binders, um, Webster's paper, and I just use the back of it, which I love. Um, I don't know which one I like more. I do love Prima, I love Webster's. I guess, you know, they're all pretty much. This one I actually stamped the card. So those are the cards I made so far. I think I have to make about 11 or 12 of them. So I have two, four, six, seven. So I'm almost halfway there. So those are my Mother's Day cards so far. And then I made this, um, I think it was a couple of months ago. Um, not a couple of months, like a month ago. Um, my sister made one for Christmas. Oh, I just took that one out. Great. I'm um, sorry. I just, if you move them too much, the safety pins, you see, like I just loosened this one. So I'm going to have to glue it again. Um, she made one for Christmas. I think she saw it on Pinterest. So I took the idea. I used Graphic 45. I used um, on the boardwork paper. So um, I, you know, glued it, Mod Podge, all the pins. I actually got the pins at the dollar store. You get um, 36 for a dollar. So I used about 40 because I used a whole pack and then a couple extra. I think I might have a couple extra ahead that I did too, a couple too many because. Of course, you want to get the, the pattern, you know, then put them next to each other. And then what I did was, I, I, if you can see, I got, um, it's, oh, I just lost the flower. Um, I got this at Michael's. It's a wood, wood circle to make wreaths. I painted it, and the love the paint was called Café con Leche, <laughs> which I thought was the coolest thing, which is coffee with milk. It's like a, a, a chocolate, like a coffee color. Um. Then I put some flowers, I put some Prima flowers, I put bows with different ribbons, different colors. Um, this was a white Prima. I actually used the stress um, stain and color it. I love my little ticket here, if you can see it. It has, let me get a little close, it has my name. I ordered this with Pick Your Plum. It's one of those, it's like a daily site and um, you never know what you're going to get there. I mean, I love anything because my name is so different. So when I see anything with my name, I kind of love it. So if you can see, it's like an envelope. 
Um, I've ordered quite a few stuff from them. They're pretty cool. But you can see I have different tags. One says home, has a key. This one says family with vellum, a butterfly. So again, I love it because it is what you make of it. You, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. You use whatever you have, you know, any paper collection. Um, um, I love that I use, I don't know who I saw that uses the top of the papers. I saw a video that somebody said to do that, so I have it around there where it says Graphic 45. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I gotta fix that, make that loose. But this is my wreath, and then I just put some tool and I hang it on my front door. I think it's pretty cool. And what I love about it is you can make these for anything. You can make them for any holiday, any season. Um, and I, I guess the, what took the longest was actually covering all the, you know, all the clothes prints. That's what actually took me the longest. But once putting it together, it was no more than a half hour to do it. But I like it because it's unique and um, I have it on my front door. So that's my project share. Um, I'm going to try to make more videos. I haven't, I've been, I don't know, I've been really busy. But I definitely have more Mother's Day cards to make. So I'll come back with more project shares. Uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.